Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. Welcome to Student Gateway. This is me, Shaw Ramer. So today we are here with another exciting opportunity and this time this opportunity is from Singapore. Singapore is one of the best countries right now in the world if you talk about uh, economics or if you talk about the jobs opportunities or if you talk about overall the country, it's going really well. And it is one of the countries which had came over the pandemic and the coronavirus and it was in the first five or first ten in the list of the countries who get over the pandemic so quickly. So it's one of the great country if you want to travel, if you want to study on a fully funded basis, this is the perfect opportunity you are looking for. Without any delay, let's just talk about today's opportunity. But uh, before that, if you're new to our channel, kindly consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. Singapore University of Technology Scholarship 2021 Fully Funded. It is for undergraduate, masters and PhD. And recently 780 scholarships in Singapore are uh, were available. So right now, it, they, these are the number I believe. So bachelor's, master's and PhD Singapore scholarship for master two years for, bas uh, for bachelor's, uh, four years, PhD four years. So you can go on student gateway never compromises on bringing the best opportunity for its users. So you can just go on and on and on with that details of Singapore University. Uh, Singapore University of Technologies are as follows Singapore, Singapore University of Technology and Design, Bachelor's, Master's, PhD, fully funded 16th of March 2021 is the last date to apply. If you talk about the benefits of the scholarship, there are tons of scholarship opportunities offered by this university. Following list is here for you SUTD President's Graduate Scholarship or Fellowship, you can say. For national and international students, full tuition fees is covered and $3,500 for Singapore citizens, $3,200 for Singapore permanent residents, $3,000 for international students. These amounts are in dollars and will be paid on a monthly basis as a stipend. If you talk about SUTD fellowship, this is another opportunity for national and international students, full tuition, monthly stipends. And these are the following things which will they provide for national and international students. Uh, check for two of the above status scholarships in details right here. So we'll check that later in this list. Uh, more scholarships from these universities are as follows. You guys can also check out if you further uh, find out any of the best scholarships. These are the best scholarships right now so far we have, which we have included in our uh, video or in our post. Yeah. Uh, so you guys can we have also given the link to these different scholarships you are rec we are recommend you to find out details about these scholarships as well because there is there there, there is a chance that uh, you might fall to a category right here very well then in a category right here so we would recommend you to check that as well and if you talk about available fields fields are limited i would say innovation by design engineers by research urban science policy and planning security by design nano electronics and design architecture so we have a limited number of fields eligibility criteria we'll check that later and uh, deadline is already described so how we are supposed to apply you just need to kind of click on this link right here when you click on this link this page will open up first let's talk about the scholarships these are the details about the scholarships which i have already uh, i believe explained you can also check out the details about different scholarships right here and uh, you can also further go deep into the those opportunities which i recommend you to check before applying if you talk about the criteria for admission mother tongue language and english proficiency obviously it is required toefl ielts these kind of things are required sat toefl ielts act pte c1 advance of cambridge english advance online application forms so basically they are trying to say that uh, different departments have different eligibility criteria and different countries have different eligibility criteria so if you belong to a country where you should uh, obviously come up with the english proficiency certificate if you are from pakistan bangladesh or india but if you belong from america i believe english proficiency certificate will work fine for you you don't need to present these tests. So these are kind of things and let's just find out how we are supposed to apply. You just need to kind of click on apply now. I have already created an account. Creating an account is not that uh, hard. You can easily create an account by clicking right here. 
uh, to create an ac account as you can see uh, by clicking here this page will open up you are supposed to enter your ID which should be unique your name your email you get a confirmation email after clicking on that link you will get further instructions to go for the application <coughs> so let's just now enter the captcha T and L D E R sign in and we'll let's see where we go okay so I have already created an application I will create another application which says okay so if you are interested in undergraduate masters PhD inbound and outbound studies then leave this rest uh, like leave this inbound and outbound studies we'll just go for masters for example for application and let's just go next okay so kindly note the following documents are required for submission for the application form but they are not showing any documents I don't know why but uh, the documents are required so yeah okay so let's just go back to number second page number first page i don't see the list but there is a list of documents which says statement of purpose motivation letters your transcripts day grades and things like that so it's not displaying right here but these things do, do display right here so we'll go next and next and next and we would recommend you to choose uh, this uh, scholarship SUTD present graduate scholarship if you're applying for graduate studies but if you're applying for undergraduate scholarship then global merit scholarship undergraduate merit scholarship undergraduate scholarships we would recommend you to check these scholarships before applying they have fully funded scholarships uh, so you don't need to worry about that and after checking out that then you have to further process your application but if you uh, kind of click on uh, for example bachelor's studies uh, then you have to uh, like uh, for example if we start a new application and if you want to go for undergraduate as you can see things has changed if you are applying with Singapore this and that things like that so the criteria changes totally like uh, different if we talk about bachelor's master's or PhD so this is the overall scenario I would say but let me just kind of check this one right here and yes oh as you can see kindly know the following documents are are needed academic transcript debit card for application fees there is application fees for the application process alerts passport statement of interest and student ID if you have any but if you don't then you can just go next so these are the basic uh, yes and no's which you're supposed to enter we cannot go next next until we uh, complete these things these mandatory things with stacks so you guys have to go till the protein number step and you have to play the application fees as well and uh, you have to select this scholarship if you're applying for uh, pass, uh, masters and then if you're applying for PhD you can also go with this scholarship but if you're applying for bachelors then you have to find out the scholarship which suits you the best because they have different criterias and different uh, things to achieve so this is the overall scenario if you guys have any questions or difficulties you guys can contact us in the comment section below till then best of luck